three, go. Hey guys, I'm back here and my crew here just built a, uh, a good model of a foundation system that I wanted to go over some of the key terms with you guys. Um, we use kind of the spare parts we had here at the end of the year, but it is a good representation of what you see out in the real world on a larger house system. We're just using two by fours and blocks that we had available, but we tried to build it in a manner that's done out in the real world. Some of the things we talked about are the foundation wall and our foundation wall here, we're using just eight inch concrete block, which nowadays isn't really uh, what's used very often for normal foundations. You're gonna use either uh, a concrete, a solid concrete wall. If you are using a block wall, you're probably using a 12 inch wide block uh, to account for the unbalanced fill. And you're, you're probably filling the hollow cores with uh, concrete, depending on the area you're in. Uh, the other type of wall is a set in place. In our area, we use superior walls. But again, these are the type of foundation walls that we use in this area. After we get our foundation set out in the job site, the foundation sits on the footing down in the basement, or down, down in the dig where the, where the foundation's dug out. After we get the foundation set, the next thing that happens is we install our girder or the main beam down the center of the house. In this case, we just, we just used a built up girder, a two by six with a two by six pressure treated plate on the top here. But in most cases around here, you'd be using a steel beam. All right. So, um, different girders are, it'd be also referred to as an I beam. All right. So a steel beam, we could use a laminated veneer lumber, uh, LVL, uh, built up girder, or sometimes it's just a solid wood girder. All right. So that's another term that you should be familiar with. All right. So again, we have our foundation wall. We have our girder is set in place. After our, our girder is set in place, our sill plates or our mud sill is installed. Underneath our mud sill, we didn't have any here, but we typically install a foam product called termite shield. And we lag the whole thing down with an anchor bolt, which I have a, an example of an anchor bolt right here. If we were out in the real world, these anchor bolts are threaded on the top. They would be anchored down into the concrete wall. And then we would lag the sill plate to the concrete wall, utilizing a cemented anchor bolt or concrete anchor bolted into, into the foundation wall. So again, that's a sill plate. The other terms here, this is a common floor joist that we used. We laid out our common floor joist 16 inches on center. So from here to here, the edge is 15 and a quarter. Or if you look at our layout from the edge to the center is 16 inches. All right, 32 inches, 48 inches. Every red dot on our tape measure, we have our joist spacing 16 inches on center. So when we do that, we mark the edges of our floor joist. We're just using two by fours with solid bridging in our particular example. But typically this would be two by tens or possibly TJIs. One of the things to note is how they're overlapped over the girder here. This is one of the trickier things when you're laying out and getting ready to do, to do this. You have to fall this way with your floor joist system on this side of the girder. And on this side of the girder over here, we fall back the opposite way, which is a little confusing. We still maintain our 16 inches on center, but the first bay is short here. All right, so from center to center, it's still 16 inches on center over here, but we had to shift over one bay. All right, so we're getting ready for our plywood now. And the next thing that we'll do is we'll snap a line in here, four feet in, we'll snap a line and we're gonna start to put our plywood on here. We have our spacing on center, 16 inches on center, so that our plywood will land in the center of our floor joist, all right? So I just wanted to show you this example uh, and go over some of these terms with you again. We had the foundation wall, the termite shield again is installed on top of the foundation wall, the sill plate or the mud sill. In most cases, a two by six we use or pressure treated two by six, we use a two by four on ours. And that's anchored down with our anchor bolt. Um, we have our girder again, right there, and our common floor joist right here, along with our bridging. We use solid bridging, but there's also cross bridging available. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.